good morning dear friends and the greetings in the name of jesus christ our lord and it is good for us to be together again this morning before we begin our activities to be with the lord a few minutes listening to him and may the holy spirit speak to us and enlighten us for life and service for today today's meditation is taken from the gospel according to st luke chapter 18 beginning from verse 9 where we read about a pharisee and a tax collector going to the temple so both arrived at the temple at the same time the pharisee chose the center part of the sanctuary where everybody could see him whereas the tax collector chose a very corner of a sanctuary where he was not very visible and those who entered in could not even see him and both start a pray the pharisee was loud both hands lifted up he was mostly praising himself and preaching about himself to god and he compared himself with the tax collector telling how he was different from the tax collector and he was more righteous than the tax collector and that means puffed up with the self righteousness now his head was upward whereas the tax collector on the other hand was mostly looking down weeping with his uh, uh, with his hand beating his chest crying uncontrollably and his head downward and dare not lift up and look upward now his prayer was like a beggar begging to god for mercy uh, which was his only hope he was not worthy and he doesn't have any goodness to stand on and he realized he did not deserve any mercy from god and so he was pleading for god's mercy he had no uh, worthiness he he had nothing good to stand on uh, by his own admission he was undeserving and unworthy of god's mercy and god's forgiveness uh, both of them finished their prayer and both of them left now the pharisees left received no mercy still a sinner under condemnation and and uh, accursed and rejected and hell bound whereas the tax collector left rejoicing and singing his song of praise forgiven received mercy and acceptance heaven bound whereas the pharisee was hell bound that's a different now what made the difference in one word attitude what was the attitude of the pharisee he was puffed up with the self righteousness and pride such people think they are righteous because of their own efforts and righteous means good and uh, right with god and they ignore their uh, sinful nature their own unworthiness and their constant need for god's help and god's mercy because of their good works and uh, uh, their commitment and uh, works that seems to be good they think they do not need to repent and ask god for god's forgiveness there's is an attitude of self righteousness and pride whereas the tax collector's attitude was a different type he was a different type of man and possessed a different attitude than the pharisee he had likely cheated many people 
and he was deeply conscious of his sinfulness and his guilt he was willing to truly uh, repent humble himself and admit his sin turn from his own righteousness his own way and surrender himself to god and follow uh, god's purposes this man came humbly before god in repentance the result was he was forgiven and made right with god he was his was an attitude of genuine humility and repentance with brokenness of heart now it is our time to choose for ourselves god doesn't change he is still the same god and he still abhor self righteousness and pride and arrogance and uh, at the same time show mercy and compassion and uh, give forgiveness and the joy of salvation to those who are broken in heart depending uh, with what attitude we come before god we receive these mercies a broken heart and a contrite spirit god will not reject you choose today what you want to receive from god remember as i said depending with what attitude we come we either receive condemnation and rejection or will find the favor and mercy from god which one you will choose i pray that you will choose to be humble before god come with tr true repentance with a brokenness of heart knowing that you are not worthy and undeserving of mercy of god and such people can expect god to show favor and forgiveness and acceptance and a new life be enriched today by the mercy of god by humbling yourself and admitting that you don't deserve for any mercy but god being merciful he will bless a broken heart god bless you and live today in the presence of god rejoicing amen lord we thank you for your mercy we thank you father that you are not looking for great highly qualified educated self righteous and proud people you are looking for people who are willing to humble themselves and accept the fact that uh, they do not deserve for any mercy from god they are not worthy even to ask god for any favor but to come with repentance with a broken heart and with tears and with great humility we know that for such people you will be merciful and you will bestow upon them your favor and ever be admitted in heaven's court thank you bless such people today in jesus name Amen.